coming up next, a UFC lightweight division battle. This is truly an eight-point striker, DC. A Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always close. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick, and the moment you start to switch your stance, he will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. So Nothing to protect him. Caution, flammable. All right, so here he is, Justin Gaethje, the lightweight contender. Many fancy him a future UFC champion, but it's just been amazing to watch this guy seamlessly transition to the UFC. One headlining spot after the next. More bonuses than UFC fights. This might be the most exciting fighter in the world today. He is the most exciting fighter in the world. He's a guy that when you put him at the top of the marquee, people show up. People want to watch Justin Gaethje compete because you know you're almost watching a we go to these videos on YouTube and all these other things because we want to see action. Don't worry about that. Get on your PlayStation. Choose Justin Gaethje as your character, and it's going to be fun. In real life, in video games, Justin Gaethje is one straight highlight. Yeah, you want bulletproof matchmaking, just throw Justin Gaethje in the main event against anybody, and he'll take care of the rest. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the Ladies octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rafael Alamed and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw today. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Those punches to the body are really starting to take its toll. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh! Headcap! He got him. Don't back up. Push forward. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And they separate. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but of the opponent. I mean, the pressure that he fights with is phenomenal. He's constantly in your face, constantly making you work, making you feel like there is no place for you to escape the pressure of Justin Gaethje. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Beautiful right hook counter. And 
they separate. Just a slip there. He can't even, he can barely stand. Misses again with a right punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good body shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body shot. Great punch. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, oh big huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That was a jab! Oh, man, he's a hard. Straight right. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, is the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take this. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. That was a nice strike. Jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. Team. It's so fun to call a just Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he's striking. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice kick. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the big Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Back to the feet. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! He's, in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, yeah. Nice slip to avoid the left. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. When you're in a pitch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big left hook coming is what? What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... He's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, 
He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Presented inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rafael Adamantizia! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.